Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share some tips to help you avoid getting wind knots when you're casting with spinning gear. So, first things first, when you go to make a cast, make sure you're not making a really, you know, high type of rainbow cast. What you don't want to do is cast way up in the air like that because you're putting a lot of slack in your line. And then when you go to reel in your line with all that slack, your line is now laying loose on the spool. So try to avoid making those rainbow types of casts. What I like to do when I'm casting is keep it low and fairly quick. That eliminates a lot of slack in your line. So just do a little bit of a sidearm cast, keeping that lure somewhat close to the water. And also, when you close the bale, don't snap it shut with the reel handle. Close it manually, make sure that line is in the line roller and what I like to do is give it a little pull just to make sure that line is snug and if I do have a lot of slack in my line what I'll do is I'll grab the line keep it tight while I reel it up get that slack out and then I'll start retrieving my lure also get the slack out of your line just by raising the rod tip that'll get the slack out and then reel down to pick up that slack now another thing you want to make sure you're not doing is casting your leader knot through your guides because what happens is that knot will start bumping into your guides and the line behind the knot is going to you know keep going and the line in front of the knot is slowing down so what's going to happen is that line is basically going to catch up to itself and when it does that it basically will tangle itself up and then you'll have some issues with wind knots now every time you make a cast you also want to check your spool make sure they're is no line you know overlapping itself or going across the top of the spool that will happen sometimes if you happen to you know make a cast and you have a lot of slack at your spool and you snap this shut sometimes that line will lay on there loose and it'll get tangled around the actual spool itself so again make sure everything is good to go at the spool because that's typically where the problems begin now as far as the wind as you can see it's not very windy out here it's pretty calm but if the wind is too strong you never want to cast into the wind because your line is going to slow down as you make a cast and as it does that just saw fish right here as your line slows down it basically catches up to itself and overlaps itself and tangles itself up so again make sure you're not having a lot of slack in your line while you're retrieving lures take that slack out make sure the line is snug at the spool make sure there's no tangles or you know make sure your line is laying nice and flat and even on the spool that way you don't get any wind knots another thing with the spool is check to see how your line's laying make sure it's even from top to bottom if there's too much line at the top or too much line at the bottom that can cause issues as well and what that has to do with is the washer that's on the shaft where the spool sits on if you have too many washers the line will bunch up um, you know in a certain spot of the reel and if you don't have enough washers it will bunch up on the opposite side So make sure your line is laying even on the spool and that's nice and snug Now one last tip to help avoid wind knots, you know, especially when you're making a really long cast Let's say you have the wind to your back you make a super long cast You have a lot of line out there, which means a lot of slack What you want to do is actually feather your line, you know when that lure gets close to where you want it to go so what I mean by that when you make a cast Take your hand and just feather the line on the spool. And all you're doing is slowing the line down with your finger against the spool and just slowing that line down. That way it helps take a lot of the slack out. Also, it helps so your lure doesn't, you know, come crashing down really hard on the water and spook the fish. So hopefully this tip can help you out. You know, there's numerous reasons why people get wind knots. And these were some of the most common ones I found that when I started, you know, paying attention to what I was doing as far as you know checking the spool making sure the line is snug making sure i'm not having a lot of slack in my line i started eliminating a lot of the issues with wind knots so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below or any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to helping prevent wind knots when using spinning gear and if you're interested in seeing actually where i'm fishing right now and what i'm doing why i'm doing it i actually share these reports with our private insider club at saltstrong.com we actually have a re really nice fish swimming right up to me right here that's a nice bull redfish i believe 
Oh, that is a monster tarpon. Holy cow. <laughs> no way. All right, so yeah, if you want to see some <laughs> insane action like this, definitely check out the Salt Strong Insider Club. <laughs> Until then, see you on the next video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.